everybody, it's Matt from endsickness.org. Today I'm going to go over the secret tips for eliminating candida albicans. I'll first go over my candida experience. I'll go over the root cause of candida. I'll discuss dietary strategies and tips for candida. I'll talk about all the supplements that made a big, big difference for me. I'll go over how immune modulation is the absolute key to keeping candida at bay and in order and the mast cell connection and the importance in its relation to candida albicans. And I'll summarize key points for you. So first of all, let me talk about my candida experience. Uh, I had systemic candida. I had rashes all over my body. You can see my before picture on my website, nsickness.org. I had lost over 80 pounds, had uh, six different bacterial infections they found um, on the stool analysis. Candida albicans was through the roof. Um, the, it was so bad that the Practitioners that I thought thought saw thought that candida was actually the cause of, of my condition, uh, but I later found out that candida is actually just an opportunistic infection. It's there when the immune system is out of control, when it's not uh, modulated or when it's not um, calm per se. The root cause of candida typically is other infections. You don't typically have candida infections and not have bacterial issues or parasitic issues. So I realized the root cause of candida was not actually, um, the root cause of my illness was not actually candida in most cases. It was actually the other infections that were allowing candida to thrive in my body, okay? So dietary strategy and tips, we can go into it. You wanna reduce fast acting sugars, obviously like juices, um, processed sugars, um, fruits So you wanna limit. But more than anything, you want to identify your hidden food sensitivities. That's really the most important part. If you are eating the same foods every single day, okay, if you have a, a diet that's high in meat products, all right, uh, you're not eating enough fiber, all right, enough plant fiber, uh, these are all potential causes of, of symptoms that are generated from Canada. And um, the most important part to realize is that if you are consuming something that was irritating your immune system, then Candida will get worse. When your immune system is overactive, candida grows. When your immune system is under control, candida is under control, right? So, most important thing is identifying the food sensitivities. You can do that through a dietary log, write down all the different foods you're eating, write how you feel after each particular meal, limit your ingredients to three to five ingredients max at each meal, and then that'll help you determine which foods are causing the problems. Once you figure out which foods are causing the problems, then you can actually get somewhere with the rest of what I'm talking about. If you're still eating things you're sensitive to, you're not going to be successful in removing candida, period. Okay? So going through your diet, making sure you go through the elimination diet process, identifying any potential irritants and removing them is absolutely critical. If you do not do that, you will not be successful. Next, raw colostrum is the most important of all these supplements. It has anti-candida antibodies in it. Um, it actually allows your immune system to recognize the candida and remove it on its own. It has antibacterial, various antibacterial properties, antibodies, um, has, uh, has uh, uh, components in it that help with leaky gut, uh, has things that actually kill the candida directly. Um, so raw colostrum to me is the most effective. You know, like I said, within four months of drinking that stuff, I gained 40 pounds back. I was able to eat the majority of foods that I was reacting to immediately. That was definitely the most effective for Canada. Probiotic wise, Lactobacillus rhamnosus was an excellent one. That's a mast cell modulator and effective against Canada. Bifidobacterium also, the one I use is from Seeking Health. Those are both shown to be effective in studies against Canada and they're also mast cell modulators. Then you got Japanese knotweed root extract, okay? They've shown that to be effective against various yeast species and, uh, and fungal infections. And that is one that most people don't know about. Uh, berberine, also shown to be effective against candida, and it helps the good bacteria grow dramatically, the lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, which are key to being able to keep the candida at bay. Caprylic acid is another one. It's been shown to affect um, candida growth, inhibit the growth, um, actually um, stop the growth of the candida and keep the immune system calm at the same time, and it feeds all the good bacteria to help them grow rapidly as well, exactly what you want to kind of try to restore the gut. And then garlic. Garlic is my least favorite on here, but it's still worth mentioning because it has uh, broad spectrum antimicrobial effects and it's effective against candida. Um, but if you consume it on a daily basis, it can 
potentially irritate the immune system, make you start to have a little bit of instability in the gut um, because garlic doesn't necessarily make lactobacillus and bifidobacterium grow. So these are the number one supplements. The key point to remember is you have to keep your immune system under control to be able to keep candida under control. If you are eating foods that are triggering you, if you're being triggered by your environment, your supplements, your pharmaceuticals, you're going you're gonna to make your immune system overactive and that's going to make candida grow. Okay? So the most important part of this entire video is you have to understand immune modulation is the key. Mast cells are the uh, most important part of immune modulation or inflammation. They actually set off the chain of events that cause inflammation, that cause the majority of symptoms. So you always have to target immune modulation in mast cells. They always have to be in the forefront of your mind when you're going after these infections. Otherwise, you'll be doing lots of ups and downs, and you'll get what you think are cleansing reactions or detox reactions when, in fact, they're just sensitivities that you're having to something that you're putting in your body, and you're misinterpreting them as, uh, as beneficial cleansing reactions, right? So that is key. Some of your key points. I went through the worst case of candidate you can have, rashes all over my body. You don't believe me? Go to my website, End Sickness, you'll see the picture, rashes all over me, 80 pounds lost, ribs showing, everything. Root cause of candida is typically an overactive immune response, and that is typically caused by uh, bacterial infections, parasitic infections, etc. Candida is usually only there when you have other problems. You don't typically have candida issues when your rest of your body is, is okay. You, you just don't. Um, dietary strategy. You must remove the food irritants, the food sensitivities. Otherwise, you're going to be going in a giant circle over and over and over again. And you want to keep those simple sugars, the fast-acting sugars reduced. You want to reduce the animal products, increase the fiber, try to feed the good bacteria, keep the immune system calm. But most important with the diet is you cannot trigger yourself with foods, high ingredient foods, um, high histamine foods, etc. Raw colostrum was the best by far. The rest of these are also very helpful, but colostrum stood out. I got that from a local farmer. Uh, if you have questions about how to get that, reach out to me as well. I'll help you the best I can. Uh, I have videos on that as well on my YouTube page and, a, and an article on that as well. And immune modulation is the key to being able to keep everything under control with candida. When your immune system is overactive, then the candida will grow. Okay. So I hope this is very helpful for you. If you're struggling with candida infections, realize it's not the core or the root issue the, or the root cause of the symptoms that you have, okay? This is uh, primarily there because other problems are there. So once you resolve the other problems, the candida will get under control, but these things in particular are helpful for bacterial infections, um, you know, parasitic infections, but mostly the fungal infection. Uh, but these things are all critical to be able to rebuild the gut microbiome and get you in a place where you can, uh, your own immune system can resist the candida and prevent it from growing. So, hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on my website, nsickness.org. This is not meant to be medical advice in any way, shape, or form. It's for educational purposes only. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys soon.